Hey guys, and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to teach you how to record or live stream content from your Nintendo Switch using a game capture card. I'm using the Aver Media LGP Lite, as you can see on screen right there. We're going to put the Nintendo in the dock. We're going to connect it to the monitor through the game capture card, and we'll be able to basically play Nintendo games while recording on the PC through OBS. First, let's plug everything in. So the game capture card plugs in via USB into your computer just like that, and the Nintendo should be in the dock with the dock being powered, and an HDMI cable will be coming from your dock and your monitor plugging into the game capture card. So let's get our first one, is the Nintendo capture card goes into the very left slot furthest away from the power cable. The monitor goes right next to it, obviously closest to the power cable. Once plugged in, you should be able to turn your Nintendo on and activated with the controller and you should be able to control your game on your normal monitor as I've got here. But you won't currently have any sound, especially since I'm using a monitor and monitors don't have sound. So we have OBS and I've got a webcam connected. I've got a headset connected that has a microphone connected. So I've got a few different things here all connecting to into one. So here's a quick brief overview of everything we've plugged into this point. I'm going to now show you how to set up OBS to kind of run with a webcam, with a microphone, a headset and the Nintendo game capture card and everything all in one mix. So now that you've plugged everything in, make sure you have the drivers installed for all of the different products that you have, like the game capture card, uh, the webcam, your headset with a microphone, anything that you're using externally that plugs into your computer, you'll actually need to have drivers for. And if you don't have drivers for them, um, you'll basically type the, that name of the product. So like um, Aver Media, LGP Lite drivers, you know, onto Google and you just find it and install it. It will install like an engine that runs it properly so that it will actually work effectively, right? So now we're not gonna have anything else open. You'll know the game capture card comes with its own program, but we'll be only using OBS for the sake of doing the OBS kind of video where we can record and stream using the OBS with a webcam, with a headset that has a microphone and it only plays sounds from the game, from the Nintendo, sounds from the, it plays the sound back into your headset of the Nintendo so you can record the Nintendo sound, hear it, and also use your microphone speaking into the thing without recording the microphone on the webcam while the webcam sees your face. <laughs> that sounds really confusing when you put it up all, all, all like that. Like it sounds really confusing and trust me, it's it's not easy at first when you first have to figure this shit out. So hopefully I teach you something today and it helps quite a lot. But first thing we're going to do is show you the different sources. So now we have one source that's already enabled over here. You can see this is our sources panel in OBS. Now these are the different inputs that you'll be having in your, your thing. So then I have one here called Nintendo Switch. Now this is actually the game capture card. So if I turn this on, obviously nothing's going to happen. But if I turn off my display capture is what you're seeing right now, you're going to see the Nintendo Switch. See, and if it moves... There we go, perfect. But if I turn it back off, well, the display capture back on and then Nintendo off here, you can see the display capture is back onto my computer. Now, we also have a face cam option over here, which basically is a grouping where you can see there's my face with the, the overlay, the outline there. You can see the outline is this thing here, the blue thing that outlines it. The webcam is, well, as you can imagine, the webcam. So there's two ways to, to turn these on. Um, the, the overlay is an actual picture that is a PNG that's just placed on there and scaled to what I want it to be. The Nintendo and the webcam specifically, this one here and this one here, are a certain type of um, source, if I can say. So now we're going to go to the plus button. This is how you'll be adding your source for the first time. So you go plus, which is add video capture device. Now this is what you're going to be using to add your device. Um, the Nintendo or... Uh, which is actually I'm referring to the game capture card for that sense, or the webcam specifically. So we go, okay, video capture device. Now you'll have the device up here and you pick which one you want. The Logitech HD Pro Webcam C920. Now this is the webcam. And the Aver Media, which is the game capture card, which obviously you can see the two options are here. There's also LGP Light Stream Engine. I don't really know what that is, but I only use the top two over here. This one here is actually what is picked for my Nintendo Switch option over here, and the LG Logitech is the uh, webcam. So yeah, that makes sense, right? Now, what you're going to do is pick one, and you're going to click Configure Video. I'm not going to do it right now because I already have it configured in another one. I don't want to mess it up. You don't want to have duplicates. It, it can get really confusing, especially for your webcam. At least my webcam is insane with having duplicates, so I just, I just have one, right? Like, so you're going to do that for your webcam and your Nintendo Switch, and you should be able to see, well, like, you know, like here your Nintendo Switch and your webcam at the same time. That's perfect. Now you have the issue of sorting out sound because now you're probably gonna have zero sound from the Nintendo Switch and maybe your microphone's picking up, but maybe it's not. Like, 
we'll see. Now we're gonna we're gonna fix those those issues right now. So now we're gonna look at our sound, our audio mixer here. You can see I have four different volume channels here or four different audio input outputs. The desktop audio, which is basically any sound that my computer plays that I can hear will be on the desktop audio. That's anything that's going through desktop. This first microphone is actually the microphone I'm using right now. This is in line number two. You can see they're in different lines. One, two, three, four. Remember that it's very important what the layout of your, your lines are because you can be using them very soon. So this is my first microphone here. It's my headset microphone that I'm using right now. My SteelSeries Arctis Pro chat microphone, which is perfect. That's the one I wanted to be. The second one here or the third one, the second microphone here is actually turned off. You can see you can change the volume levels of what how the input you want it to be. Um, I just keep it off here and I have it on mute so that it just it doesn't do anything. This is the microphone from the webcam, which I'm not using at all. Then the final voice audio channel layer here. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. The final audio line or layer here is the Nintendo Switch, which is actually the game capture card. So this is all the sounds coming from the game capture card, which we have to utilize so that it shows up in the game. So now on my desktop audio, I have a very specific thing that I have running here. So each one has its own advanced audio properties, which can be quite hectic depending on your audio layout here. So look at my first one, desktop audio. Second one, microphone. Fourth one is the game capture card. So one, desktop audio, two, microphone, four, game capture card. You need to remember those. Those are very, very important. All right. So what we're going to do is on desktop audio, we're going to go to advanced audio properties. Now you can see here, we have this kind of screen up here. This you can actually chain different different sync offsets and everything, which I wouldn't play with any of any of this at all. Trust me, it's just horrible. What you do want to do is go to your game capture card line. See, mine says Nintendo Switch, and you got an audio monitoring. Because the sound is not playing through your headset at all, you actually are unable to record the sound at all, which is quite frustrating to be honest. So I have it on monitor and output. Basically, it's gonna listen to it and it's going to play it at the same time. So if I did this with my microphone, I would hear myself speaking into my head, which would be super annoying because it's going to play through my speakers or my headset at the same time that I'm speaking, which is, if you've ever done that, it's horrible. Uh, also note that when you have your sound for the Nintendo Switch or the game capture card on monitor and output, you can actually change it using this volume here. So if you don't actually have this one up here, because this is your sound here, if you turn this off, you won't be hearing game sounds anymore. When you turn this up, you'll be hearing the game sounds. It also effectively changes the volume of the game sounds in your actual uh, hard recording, your, you know, like the original recording that you're making before you actually edit the sound volumes afterwards in an editing program like what we're going to do soon. Um, what I've done specifically in this case here, because you can see there are four lines here, I actually have to change this because I used to have five. I'll be swapping here, putting this on four because this is on track number four. So Nintendo Switch, line four, we put it on four only. Microphone is only on number two, so we put it on only on number two. Desktop audio, I have it on one and also four because my desktop audio in this case, I want to be the same audio from the game capture card. You can actually split this. You can actually make your Nintendo Switch one here, turn off desktop audio so that it only plays from your Nintendo Switch. But at the same time, you need to hear what the sounds are. I find it a lot easier to just do this. So desktop audio has one on, which is your normal desktop audio. So it will be your first audio line in your video editing program. As long as you're using, as long as you're using an advanced editing program like Premiere Pro or something where it has multiple lines of audio, you'll be able to change and monitor different audio things that have different things on. So in this case, my gameplay, uh, my game sounds will be separate from my microphone sounds. My microphone will be recorded on its own line. So I can turn the microphone off and keep the game sounds, or I can turn the game sounds off and keep my microphone, or adjust the volumes in between them so that it works with each other. So with, what I've done with the game capture card here is put it on four because it's four. So it's going to be recording the sounds from Nintendo Switch onto four. And because it's got the output, it's going to make sound. And since desktop audio has number four on, it's going to play the sounds from here onto desktop audio as well because whatever you select here is actually going to record into this. So if I press one and two, it's going to record the microphone and the gameplay into the same audio like sound clip, whereas we actually want them separate. So we want one and four and the microphone on two and then Nintendo switch on four, right? So that's very nice and easy and sorted. This You could actually even use three, to be honest, but I just like to keep it matching my, my audio thing here. Now what you have to do is go to your settings on OBS and you're going to go straight to... Uh, your output, I believe, and you're going to go to recording. 
right? Now, recording, you'll see here I have it set up like this. It's recording right now, so obviously I can't change any of the settings. We're going to have our recording format on MP4 with encoder X24, X64, sorry, I can't read, X264. Um, my output is obviously 1920 by 1080, but we're looking at the audio here specifically. Now you see the audio track has number one and two selected because I only want it to output audio files or the video file with two audio tracks. I can have it actually put in number four as well, which would be just the Nintendo, but that gets a little, a little bit complicated in you know, editing afterwards, and I'm happy with it because it's Nintendo sound, microphone sound, two different audio files, which will show up in the program, which I'll show you in a bit, like how it's going to work. So make sure you select the right ones that you selected here. So your desktop audio one and your microphone one, and make sure uh, if you did your previous setup with the advanced audio, you know, track numbers, this should work perfectly. Uh, for streaming, you should be able to do the exact same thing here, one and two. But honestly, when you're streaming, you're not editing the footage, but I'm, yeah, it's it's kind of like doesn't really apply for streaming, to be honest. I, now that I think about it, you can't really, you know, because it's this all counts for after editing, the what we're doing here with the sound. But we can hear the Nintendo now, and it should be it should be perfect. So we're gonna close that again. Now your sound should be working as intended, the, just the way you want. To show you how this works with the different audio tracks in an advanced editing program, like let's say Premiere Pro, you can see that there's two audio tracks to this one clip. Obviously, this top one being a video clip in video clip track one, you'll see audio clip track one, two, and three. In three, I normally keep uh, all my voice recordings. In two, I normally keep my gameplay. In one, I normally keep anything that's uh, a sound effect. So you can see here, here in the second line here is my audio, me speaking, which I'm going to move down once. So that all those squiggly little lines is me speaking. You see that little line over there? That is actually the game the game sound or anything that made a sound during that moment. I believe it was the Nintendo Switch here. You can see as as we did that, it made changes just over that, se that section there. And actually, actually unlink this here and change the volume of each one irrespectively, either by audio gain or by changing it in my audio track mixer, which is what you use to record sound or voiceovers in Premiere Pro specifically. Uh, but obviously this is in your own editing program. I'm not doing a, a tutorial on how to do that. That's a little too advanced to touch on too quickly, but that's pretty much how you set up your game capture card with a Nintendo Switch, a webcam, everything all in one go to record or stream quite simply just using OBS. I hope this video helped you guys and um, happy streaming or happy recording dudes. Have fun.